Hello Internet, welcome to the Doing Ideas channel. Today we are going to learn about computer properties in Vue.js. Okay, let's go into an example. Imagine you have two inputs, first name and a last name, and you want to print out the full name of the user when he types those in. So, uh, let's think of how you can do this with the existing knowledge we have. Well, we can create a method that returns the first name and the last name combined. That is exactly what I have done here. So if I type a full name together here, it works all right. But this is not the way you should do it. Yeah, I have done exactly the same. I have added the two inputs with the V model there, and I'm returning the first name and the last name in the full name method, and I'm calling the full name method right here. In our HTML. Imagine if I change the age, should it affect the full name? Do we have to run it again? We, this does not depend on the age, but still this work function works. Let's check it out. So if I open the console, here I have, uh, let's me clear it and I'll type in, okay, it works because uh, we change the first name. I'm going to change the age and that is going to make the full name function re-render See, but we don't want that. We want to only re-render the function if We are uh, if something dependent on that function changes So if the first name changes we want to rerun uh, re the uh, full name method and if the last name changes we want to rerun the uh, full name method, but in this case, it runs all the time, wherever we make a change. Okay, so uh, computer properties uh, allows, gives us this. So, all I have to do is, in Vue.js, we can create another computed key and simply move everything there. I'm gonna copy this, paste this, and I'm going to change the function name a little, full name computed, okay, this is full name computed, alright, it's going to return this first name and this last name, and here I'm going to duplicate this, first is going to use the method, and the second one is going to use our full name computer property. So how we call that? We call that full name computer and we do not have the parentheses. In the method call we are adding the creating the adding the parentheses but in the property we are not. So computer properties are a different way of representing the representing what is inside data. So for example if you want to do a filtering of a list then we would most probably use a computer property. We'll get into that in an exercise. Okay, now let's see this in action. Okay, okay, everything got re rendered. I'm going to minimize this. Okay, full name method was called, full name computed was called. Okay, the, both of the functions was called. Now I'm going to type in my name. Okay, both of the functions got called. And same goes here. Yeah, both got called. But I'm going to change the age. Now, only the method call will be called, but not the computer property. This is awesome. So as you can see, computer properties get cached. They only rerun, re-render, only if a dependent that belongs to that function changes. The first name is a dependent, the last name is a dependent, but age is not dependent on the full name computed property. All right, so that is computer properties. Uh, so now you have an understanding of computer properties and when to use them. As you can see, it's much more performant to use computer properties and not methods in this scenario. But one might say, why use a method? Why not do this? Uh, this dot, uh, let's, we can use like this this dot first name and again do 
last name. This works, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Now let's refresh. Yeah, it works. But imagine that you have to do this three or four times in a component. So now that is going to make things uglier. So we need to use a method. So the best way to do this is to use computer properties, not like this. All right. So uh, again, I'm going to say computer properties allows us to represent our data in a different way. All right. Okay. So that covers this lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do comment if you have any questions. I will do. I will ask them very promptly and stay tuned for the next lesson. Please do like, share and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.